I'm at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando and we've just gotten out of the keynote and boy, do we have some Azure news for you. Of course, I can't cover everything in this one episode of Azure This Week, but me and the A-Cloud Guru team are here all week. So look out for daily episodes of Azure This Week. The big news today includes Azure Arc connects all devices across on-premises, edge and multi-cloud, Azure Synapse Analytics takes big data up a notch, Azure Bastion gets published to general availability, and a bunch of new Azure VM sizes and shapes were announced. This is Azure This Week, the show that travels at light speed to give you the latest from the world of fluffy clouds. The first major announcement at Microsoft Ignite today was Azure Arc. Think of it as hybrid cloud of, well, on steroids, really. The first step in the hybrid Azure story was Azure Stack, which allowed organizations to run Azure on their own infrastructure, and now Arc takes that one step further. Initially, Azure Arc extends proven Azure management capabilities to Linux and Windows servers, as well as Kubernetes clusters on any infrastructure across on-premises, multi-cloud, and edge. This means that you don't need to move, migrate, lift and shift, or do any other special dance move to get your data on Azure. From the Azure portal, you get a unified and consistent view of all your Azure data services running across on-premises and clouds, and you, you can apply consistent policy, security, and governance of data across all environments. I bet we're going to see a lot more services being compatible with Azure Arc over the coming months. It makes hybrid cloud architecture so much easier and accessible. The second really big announcement, and slightly controversial, was Azure Synapse Analytics. Now, the controversial part I'll get to in just a sec. Now, Microsoft calls this a limitless analytics service for big data. It is a service that brings together the ordered world of data warehousing and the messy and chaotic data of big data. With Azure Synapse, data professionals of all types can collaborate, build, manage, and analyze their most important data with ease, all within the same service. You use well, Apache Spark integration? No problem. A SQL engine fan? Well, they've got you covered too. Even code-free data integration and management is supported. Azure Synapse is built for, well, every data professional. Now, the main competitors in this space is BigQuery from Google and AWS Redshift. And Microsoft did not hold back on comparing Synapse Analytics to these two. Three demos show the Azure services being used in the same scenario with the same data as the competitors. In one case, Synapse Analytics was 75 times faster, and the two other demos showed, well, BigQuery and Redshift failing completely. Now, it will be interesting to see the response from AWS and Google, and, well, it appears the gloves have come on, come off just a little bit. So let's have a brief but really important announcement is that Azure Bastion is now in general availability. So I've mentioned this on the show before, but Azure Bastion is a fully managed PaaS service that provides more secure and seamless RDP and SSH access to virtual machines directly through the Azure portal. Azure Bastion is provisioned directly in a customer's virtual network and supports all VMs in the VNet using SSL without any exposure through public IP addresses. A plethora of new virtual machines were announced today, and I love that for two reasons. Firstly, because there is almost a VM for any occasion, whether that is short-lived, data-intense, high-throughput, or anything else. Secondly, because I got to say the word plethora. Hmm. Now let me go through them for you, real quick. Azure DA v4 and DAS v4 virtual machines with AMD's Epic 7452 processor went to general availability. Azure HBV2 virtual machines designed to deliver leadership class performance, message passing interface scalability, and cost efficiency. Ha, oh, bit of a mouthful. Uh, Azure EAV4 and EASV4 series for memory intensive workloads with up to 670 gigabytes of memory. NVV4 virtual machines with hardware based GPU virtualization for CAD work, gaming, and simulation. And finally, NDV2 series virtual machine, which is the latest, fastest, and most powerful addition to the GPU family specifically designed for the cutting edge demands of distributed HPC, AI, and machine learning workloads. That is it for day one at Microsoft Ignite here in Orlando, Florida. Now, there were, of course, a lot more announcements today, and that is why I'll be back tomorrow with more updates directly from the horse's mouth. Well, the Microsoft horse, at least. As we say on the A-Cloud Guru team, when only four teammates can come and see your first ever Microsoft Ignite talk, seek and use your cloud. So see you tomorrow and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.